Hello, YouTubers, friends, compatriots, food liquor, shills, desolate, service, peasants, vessels, minions, meat sacks. I'm useful idiot. Welcome and uh, good morning. As I sit here comfortably uh, drinking my morning coffee, apparently Baghdad is descending into chaos and uh, pretty dramatic events. We have the uh, green zone, the uh, U.S. fortress in the middle of Baghdad being stormed and parliament being trashed. And of course, leading up to this, we've had uh, uh, several days and weeks of uh, uh, unrest in the streets with tens of thousands of people uh, out demonstrating against the uh, government and wanting more of a representative coalition. And this has been at the heart of uh, the Iraq problem uh, ever since they were more or less set out on their own is uh, how to come up with some coalition uh, after fracturing the strong arm government of Saddam Hussein. The only thing that held the country together and uh, so now we have the uh, all these uh, different groups trying to uh, jockey for their own position, their own agenda in this uh, post-Saddam Iraq. And it's been nothing but difficulties and bespeaks of the artificial borders there. Uh, how are they ever going to redress the problems of uh, the uh, Sunni minority uh, who treated the rest of the country the way it did and uh, now trying to uh, find some position in the new country um, and then also having the Shiites now in power and, and trying to resist temptation to uh, seek retribution against the Sunnis. And then, of course, the age-old struggle between uh, the Iraqis uh, and the Kurds. And uh, needless to say, uh, as I pointed out in some of my other videos, uh, there is the potentiality of a, a confrontation coming down the road between uh, the Kurds the Kurdish and the uh, the, the uh, Baghdad government uh, seems inevitable. Although certainly, if uh, we see the kind of uh, the uh, deterioration that we see in the Iraqi government now, uh, there won't be much of a struggle, um, and, and perhaps uh, things will be set in motion just by the nature of the events. So uh, so anyway, now we have uh, Al Abadi uh, at, as as president. And uh, he has uh, eliminated the pre uh, position of vice president. Actually, this is one of the funniest things in the whole story is uh, Maliki is uh, uh, the vice president, but the position of vice president was eliminated, and yet uh, Maliki considers him, still considers himself the vice president and lives in his palace and uh, no doubt gets paid. So uh, interesting situation there, but uh, uh, mostly dysfunctional government in Iraq for sure and the parliament certainly dysfunctional even before uh, seeing it get trashed today uh, we've seen these uh, fights and uh, things being thrown and the tensions in the Iraqi parliament trying to uh, patch up this so of course now we have uh, inevitably the discussions once again uh, of, of Iraq uh, being broken up being broken up into either a confederation or a federation or just being broken up into separate uh, uh, countries and uh, there's been a lot of discussion of that in uh, public by major figures over the last year or so. Uh, so it's no uh, secret, secret. And uh, once again, it's hard to say which is plan A and which is plan B. But uh, considering the uh, Kurdish are the only ones who seem to be able to do anything about ISIS, certainly they uh, deserve a place at the table in any future discussions. And of course, that's going to be at issue. And not only that, but the, the redistribution of land in Iraq is going to be an issue uh, because, of course, uh, the Kurdish have taken over uh, traditional regions of theirs that, that happen to be oil rich as well. And uh, we'll have a, 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 a violent separation should it take place. But uh, here we go. I, uh, if this continues uh, like this, then we could see the complete failure of the Iraqi state. It's more or less a, a failed state in many respects already and one has to scratch uh, one's head when looking at the United States policy they're trying to think that uh, we can fix anything there I guess if it looks like we've made some kind of effort uh, we uh, the United States will be able to save some face but other than that uh, the, I think the corruption and uh, the, the uh, uh, fraud of the Iraqi government and uh, the, this combination of uh, all this war and, and all these different uh, sectarian uh, tensions there does not bode well uh, for them staying as a united country. So uh, let's watch, see what happens. Is this uh, this going to be a one-time event and tensions will rise and things will change? Or uh, is uh, Baghdad itself going to descend into chaos? 
in uh, the country of Iraq uh, on the way to being broken up. I'm a useful idiot, don't you be one too? <laughs>